good, good people. I hope you're having a great week. So in this episode, I'm going to be talking about one of the most asked questions I get on social media, and that's how do I take cinematic looking photos? So I'm going to break this subject down into two separate episodes. Firstly, this episode where I'm going to explain what goes into taking a cinematic looking photo. And then I'm going to release a second episode later on this month where I talk about how I edit photos to give them that cinematic look. But before we get into the rest of this episode, I picked up this GoPro 9. So the POV footage in the coming weeks should be a lot better. All my previous POV videos were taken on the GoPro 7 Silver. So it should be a major update going to the GoPro 9. And I'll share my thoughts on it this week when I go out and take some photos with it. So you guys will get to see some GoPro footage from there. And finally, you guys can do me a massive favor by hitting that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, remember to hit that subscribe button too. But um, let's get back to the episode and talk about how we can take cinematic looking photos. And I guess the first thing to do is to define what is a cinematic photo because there's no clear dictionary definition to what cinematic photography is. Now, in my opinion, a cinematic photo is a shot which could be directly lifted out of a Hollywood film. Also, it's photos where I can directly attach a story to the subjects in frame. Now, a good example of this is the photo book, The Americans by Robert Frank. So he went across the United States taking photos. And if you look through the book, and you look at all of the subjects in his frame, you can pretty much attach a story to all of them. And being able to attach a story and tell a story through photography, I think will take your photography up to the next level. And it's something I've been concentrating on doing in recent weeks. So as you can see from a couple of these shots I uploaded over the past month, it's more of a focus on telling stories and capturing scenes which look a bit more cinematic. So let's talk about how you can go about taking cinematic photos and I'm going to break it down into three different sections. So first up, it's to really focus on your compositions. So this is where taking cinematic photos differs from street photography. With street photography, there's more of an emphasis on your subject. Whereas when you're looking to take cinematic photos, you really have to focus on the composition. So it's all about scouting out locations, finding the right location, and just waiting out there until the right subject comes. So let me show you this example, which is a photo I took a couple of months ago in London. And on this evening, I spent the majority of the night just finding the right location and the right street to take the photo of. And once I found it, I pretty much just waited there for about an hour just for the right subjects and the right number of subjects to come along. So as I said earlier, when you're looking to take cinematic photos, it's all about finding the correct compositions and finding scenes which look like they could be straight out of a film. So a good idea is when you go out doing street photography, just note down whenever you come across a cool looking scene because you can come back when the lighting conditions are right or the weather conditions are right to take that cinematic looking shot. Next up, when you're taking the photo and also when you're uploading the photo to social media, aim to try and tell a story through the photos you upload. So for example, in this post I pulled up a couple of weeks ago, I put three separate photos together to tell the story of the night. And it's just a means of making your photo seem more cinematic because you're telling a story through your photography. And also, I always feel it helps to take your photos in landscape over portrait when you're looking to get that cinematic look. And that's simply because most people associate the cinematic look with what they see in cinemas. And obviously that's all filmed in a landscape format. Another thing to focus on is finding subjects which suit the cinematic look. For example, people with top hats and long trench coats, they automatically just look more cinematic. Also, when it's raining, if somebody has a coat on and a black umbrella, it just looks like a cinematic scene straight out of a film like The Road to Perdition. So the subject in frame also has a big say on whether the photo looks cinematic. So finally, and this for me is the most important aspect of taking cinematic looking photos, and that's to be able to attach a story to your subject in frame. 
So let's take this photo, which I took in Soho about a month ago. And this guy, I took a couple of photos while he was waiting for the bus. And I decided to post the one where he's smoking. And that's because when you capture a subject during a movement or during an action, it's far easier to attach a story to that subject. So for example, you come across a cinematic looking composition, you frame up your image and your subject walks in the frame. At this moment, you wanna wait until your subject performs some sort of action. So if they go to smoke a cigarette, if they go to talk on their phone, if they go to talk to their friend, anything like that. Because as soon as you capture that action moment, it's far easier to attach a story to the subject. And a few final pointers is to make sure that you take your photos in RAW because in order to achieve that cinematic look, you usually have to push the images quite far. And when you have a JPEG, you might not be able to get the photo where you need it to get to. Also, lots of films, they utilize low apertures. So they have like blur in the background when they focus on their subject. So use apertures at around 1.8 or 2 or as fast as your lens allows you to go. Also, when taking photos at night time, always be on the lookout for interesting looking light. So as you can see in this example here, there was a red neon coming through the window and I just positioned myself where I was waiting for my subject to walk through the frame and for his face to be lit up by the red light. So yeah, that's just a couple of things to keep in mind next time you're out looking to take cinematic photos. I'm also gonna make an episode where I focus on editing photos to give them that cinematic look. But um, if you guys have any tips or any advice on taking cinematic photos, do drop them in the comments below and I'll make sure to get back to you. And as I said earlier, there isn't a clear definition to what a cinematic looking photo is. So be free to experiment, try different things, because as you've seen in cinema, there's films where there's a green cast over everything. There's films will look kind of blue, black and white. Like there's no clear cut definition of what is and isn't cinematic. So just be free to experiment and just try things to you get the look that you like and what you define to be cinematic. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Remember to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button too. And massive thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.